Well, we're going back to the button patch. Bowser, I knew you was over here somewhere, Bowser. I don't know what we'll find. We could be going to the wrong spot, but I just like hunting for these buttons. We're going to try it again. Beautiful day. High 40s. A little teeny bit of breeze. We'll see how it goes. And some Bowsers. Like I said, a beautiful day. We're just going to re-hunt over this stuff we hunted the other day. All these cuts and all. You always miss something. Stand by. Well, my first target came from right there. I feel easy to just cut. It's another one of them tubes. Well, that's where the uh, tube was. I swung right around here and I got a 1208. Shallow 1208. I like 1208. I don't know what it's going to be, but I like it. Whatever it is, it's small because it fell through. I was afraid of that little teeny thing. What we all would like to know is where are these buttons coming from? Right over there is what we call Cape Henry. You can't see the lighthouse from here, but the lighthouse is on Fort Story. And you know, during the Revolutionary War, the French and the British had a bunch of battles right here on the port. A lot of ships were sunk, both, both British and French. They had the whole port blockaded, you know. The French were trying to get in. And like I said, we don't, we're not the only ones that hunt this beach. There's been some really nice French buttons found here from the French Navy. Old buttons, uh, but more British than anything else. I don't know. How do, they, how do you find them? Where do they come from? The dredge, we know the dredge picked them up somewhere off there in the channel. I don't know if you can see that white boat right there or not. But that boat, the dredge worked outside of that boat along what we call the CB line and channel and pumped all that sand, you know, oh, 50 blocks of sand. But this is the only place that we found many buttons, or the only place, I guess. I don't understand it, but I sort of like it. Stand by. I mean, there's been some steamship buttons, you know, like Denny found, you know, 18, I mean, 1900 buttons. Been uh, some Leland steamship line buttons found. It's definitely an interesting little spot when the conditions make it so. Same cut, now I got a 1236 right here at the edge of this little break here. 1236, that could be a modern penny. It's shallow anyway, I like that. Stuff, I have to bring my damn pin pointer with me. I can tell you that ain't gonna happen though. I'm sure it would help days like today. 
Stand by a minute. Just a repeat of that other stuff. A little piece of copper. How you making out, butt man? You're not gonna believe it. I got a paint tube. A gold ring, I hope. No. I don't think I don't even think it's gold. I think it's junk. But it's a ring nonetheless. I just realized a minute ago I left my pouch in your truck. I gotta stick everything in my damn pocket. I'm glad I got my overalls off. Money. I believe it's got a little chillier since we got here. You got me a button too. Yeah. See, the problem is I can't feel anything with these damn hands. Anyway, it's a chain. Chain? You're a chain man. <laughs> I can't get it, man. It's got a medallion on it. I saw it. I, di I didn't... Uh, oh, here it comes. A nice fine chain, too. I saw it. Uh, mm. I didn't detect it, but I could, could get a 1201 out of it if I played with it. I think it's bling, though. The button, I don't know what that was. Gee, man, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the button. Here comes that button. Oh, man, that's a nice looking button. Can't see much on the front, though. No, I don't either. But it's got the right shape and everything to be something on there. Nice size button. Shank is good on it too, just yeah. like one beer found me. Yeah, thank you. This nice shank on it's not bent over much. No. Cool. Got a nice sound here. Thirteen oh eight. Mmm. Oh, wait a minute. I see something right on top there. Maybe it. Let's see if that's it. Yeah. Some little teeny piece of brass laying right on top of the sand. It. No digging required. Ah, that was like a nice sound. I like this sound better. Well, 26, but it's scratchy. That could be a big brass shell. Not very deep, it's four inches. You should have had it by now. Man, it's all kinds of signals now, noise-wise. Oh, one of them triangle jobs. God! Triangle! Mmm! Maybe that'll bring me good luck. Now, I guess you would say our ultimate goal down here would be to find a coin. No one that I know of out of our group has found any coinage at all. Now we know Weeks Marine, the company that dredged the sand up, pumped it on the beach, they had a hopper on the, on the beach end of the sand. <clears throat> so all the coins supposedly get caught in this hopper. And they did that because when they pumped up Corson's Inlet in New Jersey, I think in 2009 or 10 or 11, I don't remember when it was, they uh, pumped a whole bunch of big silver reals and gold coins right on the beach of Strathmere. Now, I guess a lot of y'all already know that, but those guys had a heyday up there for a while. 
And when Weeks found out about it, of course they had already left by then, they put a hopper on the end of their dredge now. So when it goes to the beach, supposedly it catches all the coins. I don't know how that's possible, but at least the buttons get through. But not one single coin have we found at all. Maybe today is the day. Out of that deep hole, I got some kind of coin. Looks like a modern penny to me. Yep. These are Lincoln, sink a Lincoln. God! I shallow one scoop hole. I thought I found a little teeny button. It's a, a pin, I think. I guess I'm in the pins this week. Could it could be a button, but I think it's a pin. It looks like it's a Masonic pin. But I like it. See, it's still got the gold gilt to it and everything. Man, I like it a lot. Now you're talking about sounding good. Six scoops deep. I thought I had a tequila. And I do have a tequila if I like fishing tackle. A old Hopkins spoon. Made here locally in Norfolk. God, I think it's a Hopkins anyway. Stand by. You can see right there it says Hopkins number 550. That's right. Trolling spoon. I've used many of these for catching big bluefish. Commercially, just grab this thing right here, shake their head, put them in the box, big hook on that. Good handle for holding them. I like it. How you making out, Jay, man? I just got that. I don't know what the heck it is. I got a wheat penny. I got a big fishing lure, and I got some kind of pen again. Some bullets. Halfway ready to fall apart. Yeah, well, what it wasn't it? a copper sound, I think it was a lower sound, but I don't know what it is. We're spending about another half hour we pull out of here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a sailboat right there, and the sun was shining on just a minute ago. It was really reflecting nice, but now it's moved out of the way before I can get the camera started. The nice white sailboat, white sails. Now you can see it. That's pretty cool. Look at that. I like it. Looks pretty kind of ominous, doesn't it? Ooh, yeah. Supposed to be nice tomorrow, I think. I might be back here again. Depends on the wind. Well, we got a wee penny. I don't know what year it is. It's clearer on this side than it is on the other. Ring. Oh, no wheat penny. So his roundup. Brass and more brass. Hopkins lure. Copper. Copper. Brass. Wheat penny. I can't quite make out the date. 19. I can say 194 is all I can say. That's the best of it for me. little stuff tube now the chain man his little chain that he thought was bling stamped in big numbers 750 750 I say chain man then he got a button but I haven't got a report on the button it looked like it was a plain flat button or I should say a plain oval button. It was kind of oval. Maybe when I get my email, I'll know more. I'll have a nut from Beaver in there because he hunted in the bay today. And I'll have Beaver's button from yesterday. That uh, British merchant button or whatever we determined it was. It's a cool button. Okay. See you tomorrow somewhere. I've got a bunch of knives to do. Chris bought me a whole bag of knives home from a lady today that 
called me and she lived a long ways away, but she was only 10 minutes away from where Chris worked, so she took them by there. Where are they at? I'll take a look at them. I haven't even looked at them yet. Well, they're in a Crocs bag. Knives. You get knives and all kinds of things. The lady was uh, Italian. I just could understand what she was saying. Now I know she was saying Sanelli. <coughs> yeah, like professional stainless made in Italy. Mm -hmm. Sanelli. The whole gathering in here. God, look at that one. Ooh, baby. It's a long range slicer there. <laughs> They kind of dull too. At least that one is. That's the only one I really tried. Mmm. She got some big ass knives. They're pretty green handles. I've never seen any green handles before. Oh, there are more in here. Yeah, she told me she had old Miggy though. Mm -hmm. This must be the little family ones. Oh yeah, the little ones. <laughs> like a pair, a pair, a bird's beak, two bird's beaks, I call. Sanelli. I'll have to look them up see what I can find out about them. Handmade in Italy. Well, I shouldn't say handmade. It's just made in Italy. Okay. We got action tomorrow. I got two more, three more knives from another guy. And when I take the paper cutter back, I'm probably going to get another paper cutter blade. So stand by for tomorrow. Knives in the morning. Buttons in the afternoon. I hope. So now I...